I think the ocean can get a bad rep. It's often kind of thought of as this dark, uh, scary, intimidating place, but it can actually be really gentle and soft and beautiful. Hey, I'm Sophia Ruchis. I'm a professional skier and a sea kayaking guide here in Bellingham, Washington. Today we're gonna go paddling. We're gonna go out to a little small island in the Bellingham Bay and see if we can see some sea stars and some harbor seals and just go out and see what we see. You know, I spend a lot of the winter kind of pushing my physical limits and my mental limits and kayaking just feels like kind of a deep breath on the other side of like relaxing and checking in with everything. I'm gonna take you through the stuff that I bring paddling. I always like to bring a chart here, and this is one of the Bellingham Bay where we're paddling today. What I call my paddling purse, or also known as a dry bag. Sunscreen in here, a small little knife, my binoculars, a headlamp, some sunglasses. I'll usually throw in a jacket as well. Next up, I have some booties. You're gonna get your feet wet, and these help them keep them nice and warm. This here is my spray skirt. A nice PFD here, personal flotation device. A tow belt, if someone were to get injured or feel seasick or anything, I can always tow them with my boat to get us home safely. It's important to stay hydrated out there. I always bring a lot of water. Next up, this is a bilge pump. This is a really important piece of safety equipment. If you were to capsize, this is the tool that gets water out of the boat. The last thing I always carry is a VHF radio. It is used to communicate with the Coast Guard. I always make sure things are packed in dry bags. I keep my phone in a dry compartment as well. Oh, of course, you don't want to forget your paddle here. This is how I get places. Ooh, no one's here yet, and you're on the early side. I'm gonna go ahead and get geared up. So first I'm gonna put on my spray skirt. This will go around the cockpit of your boat to make sure you're nice and dry. I'll throw on my PFD here. You wanna make sure it's a type three PFD and that it's Coast Guard certified. Make sure it's nice and tight. If you were to pull up on your PFD, it won't come up over your head. We're here down at Larrabee State Park. We're on the ancestral territory of the Lummi and the Nooksack people. And we're gonna be paddling out into the Salish Sea. It's one of the largest and most biodiverse inland seas. Hopefully we see a lot of cool sea life out there. So this is how I get in my kayak. I use a super technical method called the foot butt foot. So first up, I put my foot in, then I keep my weight nice and low, put my butt down, and then I swing my other foot in. All right, just a few basics on paddling for you. I always like to remember the three L's, the first one being loose. So you wanna keep a nice loose grip on the paddle. You'll even notice when I paddle, I usually open up my top hand. This just prevents you from getting blisters on the inside of your thumb. And then the next L is low. So we'll keep a nice low paddle stroke. It'll help conserve your energy and make sure you can go for a long time. And then the third L is leverage. The paddle goes in the water by the tip and then your top hand is leveraging to pull it back towards your hip. So from the tip to the hip, and that'll help you have some nice smooth paddle strokes. Oh, there's an eagle. This is some nice seaweed. You wanna try some? <laughs> Woo sea kayaking really offers a place for me to kind of reconnect to myself. It's almost like where I feel most grounded, even though ironically it's I'm not on the ground. I think it's really important to get outside and to experience the ocean because there's so much magic within it. I'm Sophia and this is how I go.